I think people, when they think about older people, they only think about older people with disability and healthcare needs. So the market tends to think only about that. But in fact, the bulk of the older people moving up are people with no significant health or disability issues. And there'll be people like me, baby boomers, but grown older, who are particularly interested in lifestyle. We want fashion, we want to have F&B, we want to travel, we want housing, we want everything else. So I think if possible, people should think about the older cohort just as a market segment. The same way they talk about working women, they talk about teenagers, and understand what the needs and desires are, and everything's possible in terms of part products and services. I think the challenge when people start talking about aging as burdensome is when people become sick and become disabled, and they require a lot of health care, and they require a lot of care given over long term. So the goal is for keeping people healthy and functional throughout the life course, and a society that provides opportunities for older individuals to continue to participate, to work, to learn, to grow, is really the key. People tend not to plan for later life, and particularly they don't focus on social relations. Having good social relations is the single biggest determinant whether people live longer or have. Second thing is actually uh, at the community level, people need to create services and support for older people who need services and care. And the society needs to change their mindset about how we think about older people. Rather than think of aging as burden, think of longevity as opportunity because it opens a whole marketplace.